I know, I know, I know it's rough today. I know it's rough today. It's probably been a rough week, a rough month, December, November. I get it, I get it. But today specifically is when I'm sure it hit everybody hard for those who've lost somebody. This is gonna be the first Christmas or the second Christmas, the fifth, the tenth, however many. It's going, it, today's tough. This is my first one, you know, that I'm experiencing without my mother. I know people, this is their second year, third year. I know some people, I know one person in particular, it's their 15th year without their loved one. So I get it. And, you know, this is still very new for me, but I know other people who are getting ready to go through this. And, you know, from what I've learned over the last couple of months with all of this is coming back to what I said before in the other video, today's the days when, yes, let's not, I'm not gonna hide the fact that it hurts, it's hurting, you're hurting. You want to just cry your eyes out. You wanna be mad, you wanna get angry. You wanna even get angry at other people. You know, there's a bit of, of jealousy in there a little bit, I, I get it. You're going to go through all of those emotions and it's okay. And don't feel bad about it. You have every right to just feel, just feel. No matter what the feeling is, just feel, because it hurts. But what I will say is don't allow it to consume you to the point of destruction. That is something that I learned first couple of months going into it. Currently, Thanksgiving time, you get so overwhelmed because everywhere you look, it's about family and holidays and getting together and celebrating and being together with your loved ones and you you see it all, you know, everywhere you turn, you're seeing some poster commercial, you can't avoid it. And then it starts to build up, build up, build up. Don't let it build up. If you need to cry, if you need to let it out, if you need to scream in a pillow, do all of that. Don't allow it to consume you to where now you start to play the blame game on other people because they have their family and they're with their loved ones, you know? It's a blessing that they could still have their loved ones. And no, they're blessed that they can have their, their loved ones with them. They're, they're not going through what you're going through. You know, don't feel like, okay, you need to lash out on them because they're in a great mood. They're having fun. They're in a joyous mood. No, no, no. You know, because if it was the other way around, you'd want the same. You know, hey, if you need to just be away from everybody for the time being, do that. If you need to, just some alone time, let let people know that. Let them know, okay, it's just not it's not a good time for me. I, I need to be in seclusion. I you know, or allow them to put their arms around you. You know, the loved ones and friends that you you do have, and cherish that person that you lost. Honor that person. Think of, and think about all of the times, like I said in Thanksgiving. Think about the good times. Think about the times that you did have. That's how you're going to honor that person. That's how you're going to honor her. That's how I'm honoring my mother today. Today, yes. Did I lose it a couple times? Absolutely. 100%. But I also honored her by just thinking about the numerous times we did have Christmas together. The, the times that we, you know, as, from a little kid all the way up to where, you know, hey, just giving her a call and letting her know. You know, she wasn't the big Christmas fan. That's where I get it from. But, you know, we still gave each other a call. You know, we still hung out. We still got together. It's just what we did anyway. But she was never a Christmas fan. Like, you know, I was just like, OK, you're a savage. Huh? That's where I'm getting it from. And just let it go, you know, and just honor them. Honor them today. You're honoring them. You know, you're not forgetting. You're, you're not trying to hide the fact of what happened. You know, you're not trying to pretend that it doesn't hurt. You're not doing any of that. You know, you're being open you're being vulnerable today this is good this is a vulnerable day it's a rough day and that's completely okay right so but what you can do and what they would want you to do is say hey if you have something that you can call call them if you're close to somebody today if you're very close to somebody where you can be vulnerable and feel and feel comfortable with being vulnerable give them a call you know they would love to hear from you you know just you don't even have to bring up the obvious. Just talk to them. Wish them your happy holidays. 
If they're calling you, answer. Don't don't hide. Don't you know? Or hey, if you can't talk right now, just let them know. Hey, I'm gonna hit you back in in a, in a little in a little bit. I'm gonna hit you back later. But don't allow today to be the destruction of who you are. Um, and I mean that so sincerely. I'm being so serious about that. You know, yes, it's it can make you go into some deep, dark places. It can make you feel, okay, I don't, I'm not in control. You know, it makes you feel, I want to just throw my hands up. I understand. I know all of those feelings. I get it. But don't allow it to take over because they wouldn't want that. I know my mom wouldn't want that. She was like, you have to go on. She said that. She told me that before, you know, before she she went to the next level. She made it clear, you you, you got to go on. You have to keep going. You're good. You're protected. She told me those things. And she told me those things for a reason. She was being dead serious. So I have to constantly keep that in mind. You know, we have to keep pushing forward. We're never going to forget. But it's also not 100% about me either because there's still other people around me there's people who are going through it there's people who are getting ready to go through this and I have to be strong and, and say hey and when I put these videos out listen I get it I know what you're going through and I'm still here and we're still going to push forward not saying every day is just going to be pushing forward. There's some days where we may fall back a little bit, but we have to keep going forward and keep pushing forward and grow from this and, and learn from this. Time isn't, it's not here forever. Time keeps going. Time isn't going to wait because we're in a bad mood. Time doesn't care if you are in a good person, if you are a good person or not, it's going to keep going. You know, so we have to be more precious of this time and respect this time and respect the people that we have in this time. And don't wait until Christmas to reach out to somebody. Don't wait until the holidays to reach out. You don't know. So listen, be strong. Honor them, cherish them, put them on a pedestal. It's their day today as well. And let's get through this. Another video on the way.